As the group of Trump supporters stormed the Capitol, local activist Jean Bridges had one thought. In any uh, racial justice protest that you um, go to, there's a very heavy militarized police presence and you know, very firm boundaries. The experience is night and day. Especially at being at the nation's capital, where CARE Executive Director Zara Bilou says she's always felt highly scrutinized. I've been there with colleagues where we are not able to carry food in our purses through the underground tunnels. The summer of Black Lives Matter demonstrations where protesters were showered with tear gas and what happened in Washington are not disconnected, argues University of San Francisco professor James Taylor. If African Americans are perceived to advance uh, politically or socially, there's a, a equal and opposite reaction. Whatever the internal motivations were, this was the end result. Chaos as a mob broke windows, destroyed barricades, and made it into secure areas of the Capitol. Even from a law enforcement perspective, something was off. I was so startled. Former FBI agent Rick Smith says authorities in D.C. were clearly not prepared. There should have been better planning. I'm a little, little disappointed that there wasn't better planning for this eventuality. And it was, it was allowed to get out of hand. Matt Boone, ABC7 News.